Mile High Campers coming back at you again with another video. Today I'm going to show you how I recarpeted the bunk boards on my boat trailer. As you can see, the wood is starting to come through the carpet and it's time to get these recarpeted ASAP. The biggest hurdle for most of us when it comes to this project is where to put your boat. I got lucky and we're out here in Wisconsin right now visiting my sister-in-law and their house just happens to be on a lake. So I was able to unload and park the boat at their dock. However, had this opportunity not come about, my next thought was renting a slip for 24 hours at the marina near my house. Just like all projects, there is much debate on what the right kind of carpet is to use for this project, as well as a wide range of prices. You know me, normally I'm a bargain hunter, but in this case, I decided to go the expensive route and bought the CE Smith Marine Grade Bunk Carpet to do the job. As always, links to everything in this video will be in the description below, so be sure to check that out. Please do your own research and choose what you feel will work best for your situation. This is just what I'm choosing to use. With that said, let's get into it. Okay, so on this particular trailer, I've got a 916 bolt and nut, so I'm just going to go ahead and remove these from each side. Once you have removed all the nuts and bolts from the brackets, you can simply remove the boards. Okay, so looking inside the wheel well here behind the wheels, I've got four of these nuts going across um, the sides and I'm just going to remove that nut from all four of them and hopefully we'll be able to pull this thing right off. All right, now that I got the planks off of the trailer, I'm going to go ahead and flip them upside down. I'm just using a box here to get them off, off the ground. You can obviously use a workbench or whatever else that you've got, a tailgate on your truck if you need to, to set these down on. Um, pretty much anything will work. But anyway, what I'm gonna do here first is I'm gonna remove these L brackets. I've got two on the small planks, one on each end, and then on the long planks, I have three. One on each end and one in the middle. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove them because they're all loose anyway. And as you can see on this one, it's actually uh, keeping the carpet down. So I'm gonna remove those and then we're gonna come back and pull all the staples. Okay, there's really no right or wrong way to do this. So if you have a better way of doing this, by all means, do it your way. This is just what I found was helpful. You start the staple out, then you grab it with the pliers, then you can use the screwdriver to help pry that staple out. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do this all the way around for all the planks. And I suppose if you wanted to, you don't even have to remove the staples if you didn't care, um, but I kinda wanna get them all out of there. So that's what I'm gonna do. You could just pull the, rip the carpet off and staple over the top of this stuff if you wanted to. But I wanna make sure I get a clean installation, so that's why I'm going to go ahead and remove them all. Okay, I got the first plank all cleaned up, made sure all the staples are out of it, and any piece of staple that I could not get out, I just went ahead and pounded it in. And then, as you can see, I labeled this plank and kind of also the way the L-shaped bracket was on there before I took it off. So this one's ready to cover. I suppose at this point you could also treat the wood to try to make it more waterproof if you wanted. I didn't think about that at the time. I believe this particular piece of wood is treated. Anyway, you could do that at this time. Uh, right now I'm gonna go ahead and continue on with the other planks, get all the carpet, get all the staples out, carpet off, brackets off, and then we'll get to putting the new carpet on. Once again, I'm going with the Smith Marine Grade Bunk Carpet. The rolls that I am using are the 11 inches wide by 12 feet long. I do believe they also make these in 18 inches by 12 feet long. And as you can see, this roll is made to cover two by four and two by six bunks. I have the two by six bunks. And as you'll see in the video, this material is actually wide enough to be able to do the wheel well wood as well. As y'all know, I'm on the road doing this project, so I wanted to make it easy, so I bought this electric staple 
gun and we're using stainless steel staples i'll put the link for all that in the description below you don't have to use stainless steel but it's highly recommended that you do obviously because your trailer is going to be in water with no workbench available i had to work with what i had so i unrolled the carpet and laid it over the top of the fender with the inside of the carpet facing up then i centered the bunk over the carpet placing the top side of the bunk down next i made sure the carpet was centered and had plenty of overlap on both ends. Then I started in the center of the bunk and began to staple and pull the carpet tight, working my way toward one end of the bunk. Once I had a few staples in the center of the board, I pulled the carpet tight at each end and put two staples to hold the carpet tight and so it would not get off center. Then I continued stapling from the middle toward the end of the board. Once I got to the ends, I had to do a little bit of trimming, a little bit of pulling, and stapling to get everything to go down right. Once all the bunks were done, I did the same process on the wheel well wood, and as you can see, in my case, the 11 inch wide just barely fit. Once everything is complete, it's just a matter of reinstalling everything on the trailer. As always, all tools and materials are linked in the description below. Be sure to check out our Etsy store for outdoor themed stickers and graphics. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you get notified when we upload new videos. Hit that like button and don't forget to follow us on Instagram and we will catch you in the next one. Peace!